Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so so mad and today ta -da, I have an unboxing for you, stay tuned! So you know that I love this day. Oh my word, I really do. Getting a parcel like that each month is such an uplifting experience. And this subscription service is like no other. You get to choose your pattern, you get to choose your fabric, so therefore you know what's coming. I love that. So I'm gonna put here the screenshot of, um, of the wonderful email you get on the first of every month. It says, time to choose your all set to sew subscription box, so special. And you get to filter by either a stretch um, pattern or a woven pattern. You then can go through the curated set of fabrics and choose things that you know will fit in your lifestyle. There is no languishing on a fabric stash. There's no de-stashing of these fabrics in the future because you know what you're letting yourself in for. And I love that about this project. Yes, I'm an ambassador, but and therefore get this box given in exchange for my review, but it's like no other, and I just think that is sensational. So, um, as you've probably seen from the screen, screen recording that's going on next to me here, um, we had some really exciting options, and I absolutely applaud Nicola, because this month she was able to get her hands on um, the brand new pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. Um, so we've got the Mabel dress and top as an option for the first, uh, for, for the woven choice, which is just fantastic. So I'm just looking at this, because this seems to be changing colour. So just bear with a second. The wonders of YouTube, I've no idea what's going on there, that I've had a flashing light going on outside, but in my, in the camera, it looked like this kept changing colour. I have no idea what's happening there. Um, maybe it's just my eyesight going mad. If this is multicolour changing, this is not. This is just a matte lycra from Tear Night Fabrics. So I'm sorry if it is going a bit skew with. I was saying. So the um, the pattern for the woven this month was the is the amazing or would have been a choice of the um, Mabel top and dress. I mean to get that in a subscription box is second to none, I think. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, and the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress has been massive all over the internet, etc. Oh, win-win. The other choice, which was the stretch choice, is from Flow and Patterns. Now, I'd never heard of them before, and they were, this is a beautiful, um, really versatile jersey dress. Uh, which you've got a number of options. You've sort of got a skater dress, you've got a sort of a, um, uh, a shift dress um, and other options as well. So yeah, lots to choose from. And it was quite a close call if I'm honest, but I have to confess that I already have the Mabel dress um, as a pattern. It isn't actually, um, I was lucky enough to be gifted that. Um, it isn't actually a pattern that I am drawn to just yet. Um, but that you know that happens from time to time. So let's have a look. And um, so as as it's scrolling through here, we had a beautiful selection of fabrics to choose from. The box that I um, that I get is the So Special box. It's forty five pounds each month. You do get the option to upgrade to the luxurious box, and that's sixty five pounds a month, and includes more branded fabrics, say from um, Atelier Jupe. Um, I can't think of any uh, Lady McElroy and so on but I personally think the selection of fabrics um, in the so special box for 45 pounds is amazing also you get the pattern you get the instructions obviously um, you get the fabric you get all the notions associated with that so um, for example with, with the Mabel dress you'd have got all the shearing the little piece of elastic um, so um, which is very very exciting um, and you also get a, a gift as well so Let's see what I chose, shall we? Let's just reach across here a second. So beautiful box as always. Oh, hang on. Let me just open this up. <laughs> I still want these people to come and wrap all my Christmas presents for me. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. 
So, so you know that I have the Mabel dress. So I actually went for the um, the flowing patterns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screenshot here of that because I appreciate it's not a pattern that everybody knows about. Um, but I was quite excited by the versatility um, of of the uh, the dress um, in that you've got sort of smart options, you've got casual options and obviously depending on what fabric you went for that would probably depict what style you went for. As as always you've got the um, the AO um, pattern here which is perfect, it's on lovely robust paper so if you're a tracer it's really easy to, to trace from. It's got nice dense um, uh, print on there as well, it's probably easy to show you that. Um, you have got all the sizes there so you can you can trace off as many sizes as you need which I always think is really nice you know I cut straight in <laughs> so um, but let me tell you a bit more about the pattern because the flow and dress um, goes through I've got them written down here so sorry to be looking away and um, the bust from 76 uh, which it was so, so you, European size is 32 to 54 which you may well be familiar with um, and the bust size there goes from 76 to 108 the waist is 60 to 112 and um, the seat is 84 to 136 which would traditionally be the hip. Just for your reference I would make a size 44 as my weight, my measurements are, let's have a look, my bust measurement is 102, my waist measurement is 82 and my hip measurement is 107 so just so you know for reference that will be what I'm making. And it's not too much of a, a fabric hungry um, dress actually. Um, there are A, B and C in terms of options um, and they require, in my size, I require basically 1.4, 1.5 or 1 metre of fabric. So that's pretty good. Um, and the largest size requires just less than 2 metres. So I'm imagining that's what's in here. So let's have a look. Sorry about the rustling, the microphone's just there, so apologies about that. Now, you've got my red grace jacket here, which is from Atelier Jupe. Um, I wonder what colour fabric I went for. Ho, 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 ho. Can you see that? Oh, that is exciting. Right, what have we got in here today? Oh, this is nice. We've got an envelope. Um, let me just pop. Let me just pop this down here a second. Sorry about that. My daughter's just knocked on the door, which is very sweet. She's telling me my microphone head had fallen off. So, oh. I'll start the fabric, shall I? No, look! Oh, I love this. Oh my goodness. Look at this fabric. This is gorgeous. So this is a jersey, cotton jersey. I think it's called paint splatter or something like that in red. <gasps> but oh my word, look at that. Now it is completely coincidental because I did have the magic changing blue top <laughs> underneath there. So I reached for my coat Oh, look, oh, look, I seem to be going through a red phase. Let's just put it out there. But this fabric is oh, sensational. The the dots on it are actually sort of white and orange. Um, I think you can see those. But yeah, really, really nice. And there's easily, I'd say it's probably about two and a half metres there. I put a little, let me just put that to one side. I'll measure it with you. I appreciate you can't see me measuring. Let me have a look. So I got one, uh, two. Oh, I say, goodness, that is three meters of this wonderful jersey there. That is beautiful. Got glorious matching, uh, matching cotton, just there. So that's lovely. And actually, I got an email from Nicola this morning to say that they are. Um, conscious of the amount of printing they are doing <laughs> so in order to reduce um, waste uh, well reduce uh, consumables um, from an environmental point of view you now get a link to the instructions um, so that's absolutely fine so the instructions actually you'll be able to read off your screen which I think a lot of us do anyway and you do actually get sent the link so if you choose to download them and print them that's entirely up to you, to you of course so in the envelope I have no idea what's in here, so sorry again for lots of rustling. Let's have a look here. Da -da -da. Oh, I say, okay, well, this is different. This month's gift to all of our Set to Sew, Sew members 
is the Waves and Wild Superstar, Superstar Bra Pattern. This is a great scrap busting project. Check out the Superstar Bra for inspiration. I have to tell you, this is actually my favourite. Um, let me show you a picture. This is actually my favourite pattern. Um, I have made probably two, three, if not four of these. Now, I am a 34F in, in MS land. That's a, a, a lingerie place in England. So quite big. Um, and this, this bra gives me enough support. So I, I'm happy to share a picture with you. I'll pop a picture in here. Um, I made this last year. Oh, in fact, I've made loads of them, as I just said. I have a hot tub. I am a hot tub owner. Um, hot tub season has just started again because we, we have it on from April to October in order to save costs. And this is the bikini top that I make in order to hold these girls steady. Um, and it works for me. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go running in such a, such a situation, but I've made it as a, uh, a sleep time um, bra as well. I made it in a beautiful bamboo jersey. So that is super special. I'm very excited about that. And this is going straight in the wash. I love this colour. I absolutely adore it. It's going to look pretty good with my jacket. So by the powers of YouTube, I'm going to leave you there. See you in a moment. Okay, so here she is. Here is the Iden dress, all done. Um, yeah, I love this fabric and I absolutely adore this colour. Those of you who are regular viewers to my channel, hello, thank you for being here. And welcome if you're new, by the way. Um, we'll know that I'm currently going through a major red, red phase, um, which I'm just loving, which is great. Um, so I'm going to try and film this last bit of the film um, in between my husband putting a new floor down. So I apologise in advance for the DIY-ness that may be in this video. Um, but you know him, um, you know, he's always doing something in the background um, and I love him for it. So back to the dress. What a lovely construction of this dress. So I'm going to put um, some photos in here. Um, I chose to make the four panelled um, sort of mid-tier, mid-length, um, or the longest of the length dresses, um, and it used, so I had three metres in the, um, in the uh, subscription box, and I've got about just over half a metre left, so it's a little bit more fabric hungry than they indicated on the pattern. Um, I may well have been reading off the wrong, wrong set of instructions, maybe I was reading off the straight line dress, which would clearly take less fabric. But it's a lovely construction, so there are four panels, four identical panels to the, to the skirt, which as you can see in the footage, makes it a lovely, um, a lovely fullness to the skirt, but not too much. Um, <clears throat> it's got this lovely neckline um, here, which is just, um, which is great fun. Um, there's no options around the neck, but uh, the neck, and it's finished with a really simple bias binding, which I love. Um, it's got princess seams um, on the front and the back, and I think that, as you can see in the picture, creates a lovely amount of um, shaping, which is superb. The dress itself came together really easily and you know I love how far um, I've come in terms of my dressmaking journey as they say um, because a few years ago there's, you know I would have had a fear of working with Jersey or even you know oh yeah it would have been a few years ago now that I would have had a fear of that but I pretty much made this dress without even looking at the instructions because it is very straightforward. Um, yeah, you, you obviously put the bodice together, the centre um, front and the centre back are cut on the fold and then you've got these two lovely panels that help create the shell shaping at the side. Once you've created your front and your back, you put it together at the shoulder seams and do yourself the neck band and the arm bands. Um, and yes, yeah, so really, it was quite a slim binding, which I think that was, um, it, it means that it's not bulky at all. Um, and I just, you know, top stitch those down using a zigzag stitch with the coordinating thread that was kindly provided in the pack. Um, yeah, and then once you've got the, the top made, you put the panels together um, and then you put one inside the other, round you go, 
and that's that. Um, so really straightforward. And I think you could, sorry about the banging, I think you genuinely, um, if, you, if you were like, oh, I need something, um, something nice and quick and easy to make um, for a day out or for a holiday, this would be perfect. Um, I was, uh, um, I was initially nervous about the dropped waist on this dress. I will stand up in a second so you can see that. Um, and when I finished the dress, I put it on, I confess that I had COVID when I was making this. So my head was a bit fuzzy. Um, I was about a thousand degrees. Uh, this is just last week. Um, and I put it on and thought, oh, I'm not sure because um, the waist, is, so the seam is here. And obviously my waist, which if you're not sure, is the bit where you, if you bend, that is where your waist is. Um, so it's lower than that. You can see that there. And when I put it on, I was initially a bit, oh, I, I think it should sit, you know, more like there, which obviously would be just about underneath my bust, even though this is a well-supporting bra and one of my favourite fits of bra. Um, but I've put it back on today and I've changed my mind. I actually really like it, um, which I think is good. And some, sometimes it's better to step away from things especially if you're not feeling very well and then step back into it um and i i really really like this i ironically watched this morning just purely coincidentally i watched um uh, adele hi adele from sofa serenity who's a fellow ambassador um for little miss so and so and she made a gorgeous version <coughs> excuse me of the same dress because both of us believe that the Mabel at this time in our lives is not is not right for us, although it is a beautiful dress. Um, we both made the Iden dress, and she made the straight version. I loved it, um, but she felt that the drop waist on her um, again wasn't her style. But I, you know, I will message Adele and say, actually, I think it looked gorgeous. You know, um, you give yourself some time to think about it because it looked amazing, and the fabric choice was amazing too. So there you go, another successful Little Miss So-and-So box, um, always successful. And don't forget, if you'd like to try um, your first box, you can get 10% off your order by using the code CARA10, and I'll pop that across here now. Um, and um, I was with Nicola yesterday. Um, she's got some very exciting things just on the horizon. Um, I, I am local to Nicola. Um, I'm literally um, 15 minutes away, which is just... on. Oh, it just fills my heart with joy actually she's such a wonderful person i got to meet some of her team yesterday um they were just folding the fat quarters so beautifully um and they were surrounded by all this gorgeous fabric and they sort of the energy and the passion and you know the the desire for what they do is just amazing um please check out her website because she has got the most amazing array of subscription services there's some craft club um <clears throat> sort of craft um, uh, sort of fat quarter subscriptions which is amazing which is what they were folding up yesterday there's a children um, there's a children sewing subscription which is amazing so um, really encouraging children to get into sewing um, and they create something really useful every month which is amazing she's also just started a um, it was two streams to this there is a um, just about to start sorry about that um, just about to start is a learn to dress make um, which is using size me sewing um, patterns I hope they've got that right I've got that right um, and that starts with more sort of craft orientated and, and builds into um, dressmaking um, but it is a learn to sew club and then hot off the press is a in real life learn to sew club so if you are local to polegate um ish um it's ever so easy to get to there's parking there it's going to be running from the 3rd of june from 10 till 12 every saturday um six weeks uh, it's 180 pounds for six weeks so um yeah amazing amazing value she's going to provide everything you need to learn to sew she's got genome machines coming in um <coughs> to to be there so you don't need to worry about bringing your own equipment there will be all the haberdashery and so on and you can learn to sew um, the other exciting news, which I hope Nicola doesn't mind me talking about, but it's you that I need, you know, we want your support, is I am going to be um, teaching um, at Little Miss So-and-So. 
I'm going to be doing um, an assisted sewing session every Saturday starting sort of in June I think so about four weeks time or so so if you are local to this area and you want to come over um, bring your sewing project you don't need to be in a sewing machine because the same machines will be there it's going to be running from one till four every every Saturday um, uh, you need to book a space but we're still working out all the details on that. So I just want to spread the word on that. I will be there to assist your sewing. So um, we're looking for people that um, are wanting to increase their skills, that can't sew and want to start on a, on a project, or can sew and are bringing a project that they want some help with, and I can help you with that. Um, our collective brains of sewing knowledge um, I will be there. Um, so it's not teaching as such, assisted sewing, so guidance. Um, and it's brand new venture for me, a brand new venture for, um, for Nicola, although they do run a series of um, you know subscriptions where you are learning to sew. And we will see how it evolves. So I'd love your comments on that. What do you think? Do you currently go to an assisted sewing um, club somewhere in the world or in, in near you? Is that something you would be interested in? Um, do you want to sign up and come and join me in Polgate? Um, we're going to have teas and coffees there and she's got the most lovely workshop area um, above, the, um, above the warehouse. And of course, you'll be around um, the fabrics and so on um, in the warehouse. Um, she is open every Saturday um, from 10 till 4. So you're always welcome to come down. So look out on their website and Instagram. I'll put their Instagram. Oh, this is just Little Miss So-and-So 2017 is their Instagram handle. So I am super excited um, to be um, working with, with Nicola and her wonderful team. Um, so, yeah, keep, keep, keep your eyes posted for more details on that. So thank you very much for your, help, uh, your support today. I much appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this, this dress. Are you already a subscriber to Little Miss So-and-So? Are you thinking about it? Just a recap, don't forget, you get to choose the pattern, you get to choose the fabric. Um, it's a, an amazing um, deal. Uh, you get, obviously, the fabric, you get the pattern, um, you get a link to the, um, to the instructions, you get a lovely gift, which um, is changing all the time. Um, and, and obviously, this month was another pattern, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, it's just amazing. So head over to the website and check that out um, and watch their Instagram for more details on how you can meet up with us in real life. Very exciting. Till next time, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.